<laughs> I'm on fire. Come on, I'm gonna work this mamba so that he slows down a little bit. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The black mamba, the most notorious snake in the world. Twitchy is. He's looking at the camera now. Don't look at me. What's happening, everyone? Dingo here. Today it's mamba masterclass time. It is hot. It is hot, hot. I'm gonna be bringing out a black mamba. It's a wild black mamba. We're putting it on the grass and we're gonna work with it in these hot conditions. It is optimal for the snake. The quickest, most dangerous snake in the world, the black mamba. Right, here we go. We're gonna open. Mamba's gonna come out. Let me move away a little bit. One, two, three. Mamba on fire, mamba on fire. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work this mamba. So that he slows down a little bit. I want to keep him away from the hedge behind me. That's what he's heading for. It's still very dangerous now. I'll show you what I did in a moment. Here we go, here we go, boy. Here we go, swing him, swing him, swing him. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Here we go. Arm is down. Now, I'm watching what he's doing. Look at the speed of this snake. Look at how agile he is. He's super warm. He is super quick. <laughs> and he's coming. Like a ton of bricks. Look at him, okay? I'm already out of breath. We're moving around with the mamba. Look at him, go. Let me get in front of him. Mouth just flicked at me. Mouth open, mouth open. You can see how quickly he's moving side to side. Now he's slowing down a little bit. Just a tad. He's coming straight at the camera. You stand still. Let him come right at you. Here we go. Now back up, back up, back up. How's this snake? Isn't he beautiful? Isn't he elegant? This here is the black mamba, the most notorious snake in the world. The quickest moving snake in the world. The grumpiest snake in the world. The second longest venomous snake in the world. And 100%, I don't care what country you're from, I don't care what you think about the most toxic snake in the world. This here is the most dangerous snake to handle on the planet. It is the black mamba. Look at him stand up. Look how twitchy he is. He's looking at the camera now. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. And he slow down for a second because I've run him a little bit. So you would have noticed when he came out, I'm gonna let him go a little bit now. He went off his tits. He was going all over the place. So what I did, I let him run. I got in front of him to try and change direction. He was trying to head for the stuff behind me here. I didn't want him getting him out. Never get him out again. But I let him get some of his energy out while he was getting some of mine out. Now he's calmed down a bit. He's actually not been aggressive today at all. He hasn't been aggressive. So then he got his energy out. But you would have seen, I don't know, it's not time to put my knee down. When he was going, there's no ways when a snake is moving fast, you're gonna be able to hook him like this. Even if you've had the experience I've had with hook sticks and mom, but he's moving too quickly. He's going boom, 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 boom. And if you hook him like that at the wrong time, he's gonna come out, he's gonna latch himself onto my arm. So you would have noticed the technique I use, I put the hook flat. I let the mom go over the hook. I lift it up like this. It makes him more tired and it gives me a chance to get to his tail. Now, although I'm telling you how to handle these snakes, what I'm not doing is saying anyone must do it. Don't do this in a snake room, it's too dangerous. You need big open space. And don't do this if you haven't worked with the lapids for years. I've been working with mambas in particular for 25 years now, and I absolutely love them. Now at this stage, he's still cranky. Give him a wave there, camera. Look what he'll do when you see your hand. Hey, look at my foot now. Hey, look at my foot. I'm going to lift him right up to camera. Give him a bit of a wave there. Whew. How's this snake? The black mamba. I love them so much. They, to me, are the pinnacle of all venomous snakes in the world. And in my opinion, he's going to come towards you. It's okay, I got him. The most dangerous snake to handle, to come across. This snake has super potent neurotoxic venom. It'll shut down your nervous system really quickly, but it's the personality. And this has been a well-behaved mamba, but they nervous snakes. 
So any movement sets him off. Watch him now. He's sitting here, he's quite calm. He's not tongue flicking, but he's calm. Movement like that. He's looking, he'll bite. So he's watching camera now. Move your left hand a bit on the camera. Look at that. He's on you. From there, he'll launch straight at camera. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? The black mamba. There's no snake like it in the world. I love snakes. I've got inland taipans, the world's most venomous snake. I've got massive king cobras. But this snake here is the most impressive, the most daunting. There. Now, unfortunately, that comes from years of experience. I knew what happened there. He's going into another mode now. He's getting warm. It's okay, bro. It's okay. It's okay. You might think I'm hurting him, swinging him around. I'm not. I'm keeping him off me. I'm going to pack him away because he's getting hot. And not hot in a good way. It's too warm out here today. It's at about 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't want to keep him out here long. But what he did there, he turned his head looked at me was about to come at me at my face this snake it'll bite you in the face quicker than you can move Woo then goes back with his mambas out on the grass yes we'll see you next time dingo out